Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, so for this one, uh, so the first thing I want to uh, talk about is messaging. I didn't know that there was an alternate fire mode. Um, that would have been nice to uh, you know, see, even if it's just like a menu at the very start of the game. Because uh, you know, like that's, uh, that's a mechanic that you have, right? An alternate fire mode. Uh, and with the uh, alternate fire mode, I would have loved to see like more enemies issue, or at least like a higher spawn rate. Because uh, it seems like the type of game where you have like a, like a core mission, which is to get all these machines, but right? like there wasn't enough of an obstacle there. Um, and then your level layout is pretty straightforward. Uh, you know, like you can go right, go left, and go straight. Uh, that, those are key like areas where you know you can have those things come at you from. Uh, I love the art. I love the design on the broken robot. Looks like he has some like, weird display multi thing going on. But, uh, but yeah, uh, this is really solid. Uh, I appreciate the UI uh, as well. And yeah. Yeah, thank you. Uh, yeah, great job. Uh, very clear what to do. I know exactly what to do. Um, my only complaint about this game is the brutal, brutal difficulty. I died over and over again. So even though I knew what to do, it was very hard to actually do it. Eventually, I realized I didn't have to. I, I could move fast enough. I didn't have to engage. So I actually beat it by ignoring all the enemies and just running as fast as I could and doing little loopy loops, and that was easier. Probably not what you intended. So. Probably could have made the worse fire rate a little slower, um, or their damage a little lower. Um, but yeah, it was very clear what to do other than what Tim said about um, you could have probably had on the screen a weapon switcher. If you had time to, that would have been nice. Good job. Yes, thanks. Um, I feel like you always have to represent the audio sometimes. There, there's no sound, and just small little touches, either music or sound effects, would have really helped a lot. But you had visual effects for when things were happening, which was good. Um, the respawn time on the combatants was really punishing. Like, I felt like you could basically get to the other end of the room and then just the whole map respawn. I mean, I was watching them respawn as you were playing through it, and now you have like twice the number of combatants that are attacking you. Um, players will abuse the crap in your game. Anytime they can shoot through walls, they will shoot through walls. And that's how we got through this game. I would just go into the room and row up the other uh, little buttons can get to me, and I would just shoot them through the walls. I was like, yeah, get out of here. Like, Players will just always find ways to like do pulls like that, stand on top of the thing where a combatant can't get the player. So think about things like that too, where like um, it's part of the game and some players will just do stuff like that. Also, didn't know there was a shotgun either. Um, on off states were good, like it was really clear when I uh, bust up the computers. Um, I noticed you were you were able to interact with the computers while there were combatants running around, and I had a problem with one of them where I couldn't disable it, and I thought I couldn't do it when there were like enemies around, so I ran around and killed everything, and I was like rushing to get the last one because I, I knew the respawn timer was pretty aggressive. But I maybe ran into a bug where it wasn't clear like what the interact radius around them was because it wasn't working, and then I had to kill everything and come back and get it. Um, but it was a you know solid first loop. We'd love to see some more maps and different types of obstacles to navigate. All right. Well, thank you for your guys' feedback.